Good YouTube, it's your boy, Blue Blood Sports TV. Back at y'all with another one. So I want to talk about this real quick. Real quick. <clears throat> Canelo Alvarez proves to be a cheat, man. <clears throat> he proves to the world that that wasn't about tainted meat. That was definitely about him cycling steroids, man. Do I have hard evident proof? No, but common sense sometimes just plays a part and that's all you need is common sense if i'm not cheating it's just like this you're in a relationship i'm married if you're in a relationship you know um ain't your wife like oh are you cheating are you cheating no i ain't cheating and then she's like okay so let me see your phone right now you know before you have a chance to to go through it and and, and cycle evidence and and delete stuff she like, let me see it right now. And you don't have nothing to hide. You'll just be like, okay, yeah. Guess what? She probably won't even look through it. Why? Because your body language, your actions. Now, if I be like, no, why you want to see my phone? You don't got to see my phone. Then you know what? She really going to want to see it now. Because she like, you got something to hide. So if Canelo Alvarez, if the WBC who stood behind Canelo Alvarez. So, um, shout out to the brother 78 Sports TV. Shout out to the LDBC, man. I saw a 78 video on this too, man. Shout out to you, 78, man. Salute. But I saw the brother video on this too, and he made sense, man. He said, the WBC has been kissing Canelo Alvarez's ass this entire time as this was going on. As this unfolded, the WBC was 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 on Canelo Alvarez's side, hard body. They was riding with him hard body. I made a video about that saying that they was doing that. They was overcompensating. They was doing it so much that they was overcompensating due to the fact that they had the fallout between him himself, Canelo Alvarez, and the WBC, Mauricio Suleiman, with them forcing him to fight Triple G. So they overcompensated. So for all you dudes that's going to come over here and saying, oh, why she had to, he's still mad at the WBC? No, no, no. If you clean, enroll. Point blank and period. No other way to slice it, man. If you're clean, that's just what it is, man. So Canelo Alvarez, you're not clean, man. And and, and I know people are going to come out, his fans going to come out and be like, oh, well, why, why would he have to? Because it's part of the sport, man. He did it, and like 78 said, he's cycling. He's cycling. That's why he don't want to enter the clean program, because they check you year around. They could pop up. It's different when he does it just for a single fight, for a two, three-month period, because he done cycled off. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm into bodybuilding. I like bodybuilding. You know what I'm saying? I was doing it at one point. So I know what it is, man. It's a lot of dudes on steroids and they cycle. I know what the cycle is. I know I play football, so I know a lot of dudes that cycle. So if you know anything about this, you know that he weaned himself off as he get close to the fight and then he don't pop dirty. But see, when it's year round, you can't cycle. And that's what the, the WBC clean program is, is year around testing. So he wants to avoid that year round testing. He won't do it. So that proves that he's a cheat. Prove me otherwise. Enter the enter the program. If you don't enter, what's your reasoning for not entering the program? There's no reasoning. They come, they say, listen, give me get a urine sample, give me a hair particle. It ain't hurting you. What is it hurting you to pee in a cup? If you have a job, I work, I work a, two different jobs, multiple jobs. One of my jobs being was working in the operating room. It's working in the operating room, right? They have random drug testing. I also drive. I have a class A CDL license. So, you know, with that license, they definitely randomly test you. They'll pull you over. They'll come anytime, pull you over. Listen, we need to take a drug test, especially if there's an accident or anything. That's like me, me, them, my job coming to me and be like, yo, listen, we suspect there may be something wrong. You got to do a random test. Nah, I ain't doing no random test. What? Then you don't want this job. Why you ain't going to do it? it Who is it hurting? For me to pee in a cup. Who's it hurting for them to take a hair, power, hair um, sample? It's not hurting anybody. 
So for me to deny it, for what? It's just like, like I said, if you're in a relationship with your wife and she say, or your girlfriend, your fiance, whoever it may be, your kid's mother, whatever. She like, she just randomly say, you walking, y'all walking in the movies, y'all walking in the mall, and she just randomly be like, let me use your phone. And you be like, nah, nah, you on the defensive, then she gonna suspect something. Because it's just common sense. Why not? You don't have nothing to hide? Then what's the problem? It's just common sense. So for everybody that's going to come on here and talk about, oh, what proof do y'all have? Oh, y'all just y'all just assuming. No, it's not assuming. It's common fucking sense. Point blank and period, man. The dude is cheating. So that all that tainted meat nonsense was all just that. It was nonsense, man. The tainted meat situation was an alibi. He used the meat. He knew that in Mexico, there's tainted meat. So that he was preparing himself, it was an alibi. He was already pre-preparing himself. You know what I'm saying? It's just like when you commit a crime. You got you to gotta make sure you have an alibi before you commit the crime. And that's just what it is, man. He was using that tainted meat as an alibi, and it, and it backfired on him. Now he don't want to enter the clean program. Why not? Because you, you're cycling you using some point blank and period. That's all I got. Drop a comment in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think. Blue Bus Sports TV. Hate, like, comment, subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the bell icon to get all new notifications. Follow me on Instagram at Blue Bus Sports TV. It's your boy Blue. Shout out to the LDBC. Shout out to the brothers. Shout out to New Media, man. We out here, man. We working, man. Black Media Roll. Y'all already know what it is. Holla at your boy. Peace.